Another thing is accountability. All of you try to get your kids into the weight room. All of you try to get um, your kids excited about the sport of football. And all of us also have so many different battles that we have to fight because kids get pulled in in many different directions and, and oftentimes they want to specialize. Um, at Dowling Catholic, um, we have had a point system ever since we have been here. Uh, I'd mentioned where I'd been before and, and uh, when I was at Wilton, I came across a point system that really helped promote multi-sport athletes, which is something that is very important to us. It also promotes achievement in the classroom, um, involvement in workouts, uh, football related skills, and really it holds our kids accountable for everything that they are doing within their sport, but also outside their sport as well. You know, one thing I want to emphasize is we're not trying to eliminate kids. Uh, we're trying to get them to understand if they're going to be the best that they can possibly be, there are certain steps that they're going to have to take in order to do that, and that's to be a consistent worker, whether it be in the classroom, out into the community, or another sport, or in the workouts that we want them in. Okay, now I'd like to show you um, our point system, grade point average times 10, participation in workouts, um, they get points for being out for a winter sport. I'll be the first to tell you I give more points uh, for the sport of track than I do anything else in the spring because I think the correlation between track and football is, is very important. Um, but you can see really all of the things that they can do, whether it be in the classroom with their grade point average the first and second semester, or whether it be um, other sports or workouts that they may do. Um, also, if we have kids that would make bad decisions, um, we also um, take points away from them if they have a, a conduct violation. Um, so really how this works is, Kids have to have 190 points um, if they are a sophomore through senior to be. The incoming freshmen, uh, we don't worry about because they're just getting acclimated into our program. As soon as they become freshmen um, and, and are through one season, then they will end up having to get 165 points the following year. I do everything um, from a spreadsheet, and I've taken the names off, obviously, to protect our kids and their names, but you can see I go through and write down grade point averages if they're out for a winter sport, um, winter weights, winter speed and agility, we do the same thing in the spring, same thing for our uh, second semester grades, then as we get in over here you can see that's our, our spring and summer activities and then our totals uh, are there to the right. So again, our sophomores to be 165 points, our juniors and seniors will accumulate 190. One thing I want to clarify about the point system, because I mentioned you know, that we are not eliminating kids. We are holding kids accountable. Um, really where kids run into trouble is if they are an underachiever in the classroom, if they do not go for out for other sports, or they are inconsistent in their workouts, then they're going to have trouble making those points. So one may ask, okay, what happens if they don't make their points? As we start our camp, we have what we call makeups and they will be basically be doing quite a bit of running in order to make up the points that they are below their teammates. Again, we're not eliminating people, but what we are doing is holding them accountable and, and holding kids accountable to each other. So that is our point system. Again, one way to, to hold our kids accountable for their workouts and also to each other.